In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reach from this to this. What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put the water block on your uh, GPU. I'm using the Titan X over here, but the same is applicable for any 10 series NVIDIA card. In order to put the water block on your GPU, of course, the first step is to remove the reference cooler or whatever cooler your uh, GPU has. In order to achieve that, you need to remove certain screws from the back as you can see here. So at the beginning, I'm going to start from the smaller screws, then uh, I will remove the screws for the back plate which are located at the corner over here and then I will remove the two screws that are uh, holding the IO panel shield. So once you have uh, removed all the small screws then uh, you can remove half of the back plate by removing the other screws you can remove rest of the plate also but uh, as you can see after removing the smaller screws those screws have uh, standoffs at the bottom and you can uh, remove them using this particular tool i have bought this tool from ek website as well along with my purchase of the gpu block you can use this tool which is a screwdriver head to remove these uh, standoff screws Then remove these uh, bigger screws also. Once you have removed all the screws, you can remove the top cooler. But be careful, there are two cables attached. One for the LED connection and the other one is for the fan. So make sure you remove them first and then you can remove the top cooler. And that's how it looks from inside. There are thermal pads that you need to remove. Also, you need to clean the GPU using the 99% isopropyl alcohol. If you don't have the 99%, you can use the lesser percentage also, but 99% uh, will actually work faster. Here I'm using the 70% because uh, where I live, the 99% is not available. This is the box for the GPU water block, and these are the things that comes with it. It comes with the thermal interface material and allen key some screws and the plugs and it comes with the thermal pads also and it comes with the installation instructions as well you can read them if you didn't uh, get the instructions in this uh, video properly and this is the water block itself so next up you need to install the thermal pads the thermal pads for the ram comes uh, pre-cut out as you can see here and they are pretty easy to install in addition you need to install the thermal pads on the chokes and also the vrms you need to cut these uh, two thermal pads to a proper size which uh, fits the chokes and the vrms properly Once you have installed the thermal pads, you need to remove the blue color uh, protective uh, plastic from all the thermal pads. I have installed the thermal pads, now it's time to install the thermal paste. EK recommends to install the thermal paste in uh, star shape as you can see on your screen but it is very difficult to install it uh, properly using what they have provided here because it has a mind of its own when it comes to releasing the paste. Once you have put the paste, put the water block on top of it and align it uh, properly so that the screws and their holes are aligned properly so now it's time to start putting in the screws if you are going to put the back plate then there are certain screws that you don't need to install so be mindful of that make sure you don't tighten the screws too much they should be snugly fit 
but they should not be over tightened because if you tighten them too much it is going to destroy the PCB of the GPU. So you need to only install this one screw. These screws no need to install yet because uh, they will be installed along with the back plate. So let's open the box for the backplate. Backplate can be bought uh, separately from EK and let's see what are the things included inside the box. Of course it comes with the thermal pad and also it comes with the backplate itself and it comes with the installation instructions. Before you install the backplate you need to install the thermal pads and there are locations already marked on the backplate. You need to cut uh, this particular one as per the size and uh, install this pad. The other pads are pre-cut and you need to install them on three places. Similarly you need to remove the protective blue plastic from the thermal pads. So I have already installed all the thermal pads. It's time to put the back plate in and you need to tighten all these screws. I have tightened all the screws and the block is ready for use. You also need to install the plugs on the ports which will not be used for water cooling. And finally remove this sticker from the EK badge for aesthetics. And that's how the card looks after you have fully installed the water block on your GPU. So these are my two Titan X Pascals with the water block fully installed on them. So guys I hope that you have liked the video and if you have liked it make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. Stay tuned for more videos like that. Take care. See you. Bye.